Hello and welcome to Legacy of the Jedi. This is a Star Wars tabletop role-playing game experience. Uh, we are using the Star Wars Saga Edition rule set by Wizards of the Coast. And uh, the campaign is written by me. Um, I'd like to thank my players. They're awesome. I'd like to thank you for watching this. Uh, I've never done anything like this before, so please feel free to ask me questions about the rules, the, the characters, the story. Um, I'm just really psyched to be doing this. I'm happy you guys get to see this, and uh, I hope you enjoyed as much as we had fun making it. Let's go. Hello everybody, and welcome. Uh, this is a Star Wars role-playing game uh, that we're going to play. So, um, in our uh, in our prep sessions, uh, we played a little bit just to get cozy with the characters, but uh, if our players could introduce themselves, just give uh, maybe your first name, uh, your character's name, brief description, uh, let's start with, uh, let's go left to right here. Let's start with Rari Vaz. Hello, my name is Kelsey. I will be playing Rari Vaz. She is a, uh, class. You want, you want classes given, right? Sure. <laughs> Perfect. She, uh, she's a scoundrel. Um, she is a Twi'lek scoundrel. And, um, she purple uh she's got leather straps that wrap around her head tails um uh, mostly will be where mostly wears like a black tank top with cargo shorts and a beige uh vest always has her blasters handy and uh she's a bit of a smooth talker when she wants to be all right oriandra um, so my name is Danny. I play Oriandra. She is a Twi'lek scout. Um, she looks very similar to Rari Vas because they're sisters. Um, she is Rari's little sister. She has a very small build. Um, she's teenage, roughly, um, constantly covered in soot. Um, she's a bit of a mechanic on the fly. Um, she wears a massive tool belt around her waist, um, a cropped brown leather jacket, some lace-up mid-calf boots, lots of brown straps and pouches and holsters everywhere, um, and always a wide-eyed smile. <laughs> and that's Ori. Awesome. Perfect. And Orson. All right. My name is Tyree, and I will be playing Orson tonight. Orson is the only member of this party that is not a family member. He's a <laughs> human soldier. Uh, a little bit weathered. Hard to tell if he's in his 30s, 40s, 50s. Really hard to say. His skin is lined uh, from either the sun or age. He's got a little bit of a glint in his eye, but you can't tell if it's mischievous or kind of cranky. It's it's hard to say. Uh, one thing you need to know about Orson is he loves his heavy blaster rifle. Like, probably too much. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So... Uh... Today, you uh, have woken up and gotten ready. Um, of Corland. Um, you feel um, a little bit of, of tension in the air. Um, there's people kind of have their heads down. People are kind of um, kind of trying not to make eye contact. Um, seems like there's a little bit more hustle and bustle today. Um, why don't we start out with perception check? Starting off. Orson's got an 18. 18. He has 12. And Ori has a 14. Okay. 
So all of you definitely notice that these, like the citizens of this place are on edge. Uh, people are hurrying from building to building. Um, there's, you catch some nervous glances in between like people traveling together. Um, Orson, you pick up on a little bit more. Um, you see a few citizens motioning towards like the town square, um, like kind of hands over mouths, like hushed whispers kind of things. Um, you see a few of them moving in that direction and some of them are even like pulling their comm links out of their pockets and, and making, making a few discreet calls. And are we with, uh, is it just the three of us right now? Just the three of you. This is pretty much as soon as you have woken up and, and stepped outside. Sure. Can I pull someone aside? Uh, sure. Um, you grab, uh, like beige, uh, a little bit, uh, like a tiny twinge of green. Um, he just kind of like looks down at you and kind of looks back up. Hi. Um, what's going on? Uh, can you make a persuasion check for me? <laughs> Let's I should have let Rari take the lead with this one. <laughs> <laughs> a 15. Okay. Uh, you see that he's kind of like unsettled by you grabbing him, but as soon as he kind of like sees your face and just your general earnestness, um, he's kind of like some big kind of hubbub going, going on at the, the town square. I don't know about you, but I'm probably just going to get out of here. Yeah, I was going to ask, should we be running toward the town square or away from it? It's like, what I don't know what's hubbub? going on. I, I'd rather not find out. He kind of starts to pull away. All right, well, thank you. I'm sorry I grabbed you without consent. Um, <laughs> bye. Sort of, hmm. We're, uh, we're kind of the run toward hubbub kind of group, I feel like, uh... Probably just just let him know, like, oh yeah, yeah. It, it seems like there's definitely something going on. And uh, where's the spaceport? Remind me. Um, in this town, uh, it is like way north. We're not going to have to go town? through the town square to get to the spaceport, are we? You probably are. Oh well, so be it then. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, we we had to make our way around there eventually, right? Probably we just want to. I don't know about you guys, but I'm going to be moving. Uh, weapons hot. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll um, have my hand on my blaster. All right. Should I talk to Raffin? Maybe he would know. He knows lots of things around here. The magistrate guy. If you do, um, I think he wanted you to, uh, to just warn him first. Oh, that's right. right. We need a safe word for the comm link. I didn't establish that with him in advance. <laughs> Let's just go. It's fine. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So you, you hurry off to the town square. Um, as you are approaching, you hear uh, kind of a you kind of feel like most people are kind of pushing towards this area, like kind of a crowd is gathering. Um, you hear a gasp from this crowd uh, as kind of this cluster of people is starting to form. Mm. There are stormtroopers lining the area. Um, a show of force from the Empire. The Empire is here. Um, in the middle of the square, you see a man in his late 30s, early, early 40s. He's got a square jaw, slicked back hair. Um, his hands are uh, at attention behind his back. Um, freshly pressed trousers, trousers, high boots. There are some light armored plates on his torso and his shoulders. And he has uh, like the red and blue squares uh, on his chest that indicates some sort of imperial rank. Um, he is addressing the people. Citizens of Corland, be not afraid. The Empire has come to save you from a veiled enemy 
that has threatened your lives. He motioned someone forward with a tilt of his head. Let it be known that the Empire watches over you, and nothing can escape our sight. Uh, two stormtroopers haul a limp body into view and shove him to the ground. They take a step back and aim their rifles at the back of his head, uh, which rises, bloody and beaten, to reveal Magistrate Raffin's Searching. Behold! The officer gestures towards the magistrate, holding the hilt of a lightsaber above his head. Your magistrate, Raffin, was a Jedi in hiding! This order of heretics has always sought to undermine the Empire, and this one was no different. The officer lowers the lightsaber hilt and aims it at his prisoner. Magistrate Raffin spots your group amongst the crowd, and his eyes go wide. He appears to swallow hard before giving the smallest shake of his head, as if to say, don't. Don't worry. <laughs> I have a question for the group. I have a question for the group. Who's, uh, who's the boss today? Rory. <laughs> or is the boss today? Rari. Oh, Rari is the what? boss today. <laughs> this would be a conversation you probably had before you went outside for the day. Yes, absolutely. We could take a quick vote. I vote Rari. Orson, what do you think? Oh, I'm abstaining today. <laughs> abstaining from the vote. Well, one vote for Rari. Sorry. Okay, that's that's all. Carry on. <laughs> no, okay. who's leading? But not to worry, my dear citizens. He proved to be no trouble for your stalwart imperial forces. And now, he will meet his end, just like his pathetic order did to make way for our glorious empire. The blade is ignited with a snap hiss, revealing a brilliant emerald blade at the back of the magistrate's neck. He's still looking at you, and suddenly you hear his voice in your minds. Leave me. Get the holocron and bring it to the girl. Run! Finish the mission! This! The officer is shouting now, his anger bubbling through the facade. It's the legacy of the Jedi! He swings the green blade with all of his might, severing the magistrate's head. Oh. There are gasps of horror, <clears throat> cries of anguish throughout the crowd, but they quickly fall silent. All you're left with is the humming of the lightsaber as Raffin's body slowly slumps to the ground. The officer is hunched over the corpse, red with rage, panting for breath until he seems to realize that there are still people here. Uh, he takes a moment, regain his composure, uh, before deactivating the weapon, and then he just throws it aside. And he just kind of turns to the, the troopers and says, spread out. Make sure the Jedi doesn't have any allies here. Can I uh, try to perceive... Where that uh, lightsaber may have fallen. Sure. Uh, give me a perception check. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. You definitely clock that. Um, he... Out here... That's pretty public. Yeah. Uh, Chris, one more time. What was the captain's name? The guy who just did the head slicing? Uh, he did not say. Oh, he didn't say. Okay. Just square-jawed jerk is what I'm going to call him. Okay. That's <laughs> accurate. Um... Yes, you know, he seems to be speaking as just the, the royal empire. Um, he seems to be speaking on behalf of the empire. He has not um, provided a name. Royal weed, yes. Okay. Well, we should go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, Where are you going? Yeah. 
do do we know um how we're gonna launch his ship? No. Cool. Cause my gut says we should just go for the ship. But now we have a dying man's wish on our hands, which <laughs> means we need to go get the holocron. Listen. From his place. <laughs> you know, you you pile so many of them on, you forget who said what. It doesn't really matter. But he probably has keys back there or something. Uh, yeah. You know. Either way, we probably need to go to his place. And we probably should go quickly before the stormtroopers go there. You got it, boss. <laughs> okay, cool. I love that I'm making the decisions. <laughs> okay. So you are... his home base. <laughs> you are moving to his house? Yep, quickly. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm trying to look discreet. Perfect. Um, can everyone do a stealth or deception, your choice, um, to move through the streets without garnering attention? Orson's at a 17. 27. 16. Okay. Did it matter uh, which one? Uh, not here. Uh, this is more like a moving from alley to alley. If someone spots you acting casual, so it's a little mix of everything. So, okay. Oh. You move through the streets, avoiding the Imperial patrols. Uh, you finally arrive at Raffin's house. His the green banners that he mentioned before, uh, hanging from the house. There, you can tell they're slightly singed by some blaster fire. Um, there are two stormtroopers keeping watch outside of the door. They do seem to be more focused on their conversation than they are about like keeping watch. Um, but choices are now yours. Okay. Uh, Ori, did you? Notice windows on this building. I... Would, is that something that I would have noticed from the inside? Uh, yeah, probably. <laughs> um, there are... Uh, you did notice that in that at the end of that hallway, um, you guys remember his living room before... Um, you did notice that that kind of hallway into his living room, there was a window at the end of that. Um, that would have been on on this side of the building right here. Okay. Probably get it open. So here, here's an idea. If you guys want to try and get in, I can try and distract... The two stormtroopers. I think you have a better shot at it than we to do. The, to the best of my abilities, I can try and distract them while you make your way in and get what we need. Yeah. What do you, what do you think, Ori? You got the window? I got it. And you know how to go in and get his secret library door oh, yeah. open. What was mm -hmm. the What was the book? don't remember. There was a book. I remember. I remember. Okay. Good. And maybe look for anything so we know what ship was his and mm -hmm, how to mm -hmm. get it going. And credits. <laughs> and it credits if you're in there. All right. Ready, set, break. Do -do -do. All right, so as you approach these stormtroopers, what's your what's going on? Oh, this is going to be so dumb. Good. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Perfect. Um, I'm just going to go up to him and go, okay, so I, I have, I'm sorry, I'm just a little bit nervous. 
you know, you guys usually aren't on this planet. I don't get to see like stormtroopers very often. So I just have kind of a couple of questions. If you don't mind um, answering some for me, I'm kind of a fan and just would like some, 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 some just general inquiries. Uh, can you please roll a persuasion check for me? As as you're you're just gonna sit with just a blank stormtrooper visor. Um, it's going to be a twenty four. Okay. Uh, the step closer uh, to you, Rari, and. Uh, at first, all you're getting is just blank, you know, just the stormtrooper, you know, faceless visor. Mm -hmm. uh, and then finally, the one without really like his gaze not leaving you, he just kind of like elbows the guy and he goes, hey, we have fans. <laughs> he goes, what'd you need? Don't worry, go on. <laughs> um, well, one. You know, I'm a tweet, like, obviously, is, am I banned from becoming, like, a stormtrooper? Or, like, I feel like it's not right, like, it feels weird to ask, but you guys have such a, like, uniform look, I'm just wondering, would someone like me be able to join the ranks, or am I barred from, like, applying? Uh, they kind of share a glance, and they're like, well, uh... Not actually sure. In the regulations. Uh, Ori and Orson, can you roll uh, stealth checks, please? Sixteen. Thirteen. Actually, uh, twelve, sorry. My, I'm bad at math. You said 12? Okay. Uh, sneak around this corner. You see one of the stormtroopers' visor kind of go in that direction. And then he comes back to Ori. Or not Ori, sorry, Rari. Being like, you know, I thought I saw a Twi'lek in the, in the barracks one time. But I'm not sure if they were army or... They appear to be... To just be thinking in that direction and came back. Intense moment. <laughs> All right, so you guys are around this corner now. Oh, fantastic. Mm -hmm. And, yep, uh, that window is right in front of Ori. Um, if you could make a um, mechanics check to sort of, like, jimmy it open, that would be great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to try to fit some kind of, like, knife or a screwdriver with a flat head underneath and just try to pry it open. Yeah, you've got, like, all of your tools on your belt, so, like, you could just... Good roll. It's a good roll. <laughs> uh, it is a 19 plus 8, so... Ooh! 27! Fantastic. Didn't um, stand a chance. You have, like... <laughs> you're actually not even entirely sure if this thing was locked because it <laughs> sprang open so easily... And it doesn't even make so much as a squeak. Uh, so let me unveil here. Watch, there's like 14 more inside. I'm actually a little worried about that. We didn't happen to see anything through that window before we rolled into the building, did yes. we? <laughs> Any persons, it appears to be rather empty from your vantage. Fantastic. All right, let's climb in. Uh, can you just give me one more stealth check as you climb through the window? Make sure you don't make a ruckus. Oh, I definitely do not. <laughs> 25. Wow. I've never climbed through a window so sneakily. Usually it's much louder with a lot of broken <laughs> glass. I have a 13. Okay. All right, so the the house uh, from where you are um, seems to be um, pretty much the same. 
Uh, you're right there in the living room where you had that conversation with the magistrate. Um, do you remember the book? I think so. Um, oh God, Orson, I'm not the most book smart person. I'm pretty sure he pulled out one on the history of the empire or of, it was a history book, Old Republic. Uh, I'm going to scare myself for something about the history of the empire or history of the Old Republic. All right. Um, let's do, uh, let's do another quick perception. Ooh, that's good. That's good. Um, 25. Okay. I didn't beat that. I don't know if you wanted my role also. It was a 21. <laughs> okay. Um, as you're kind of scanning, uh, one jumps out at you. You remember Magistrate Raffin uh, tilting this book out before, um, and it is titled The Empire's Rise, The Sheev Palpatine Story. Oh, my mm-hmm. God. I forgot the Sheev Palpatine mm-hmm. story. How could we forget? How his legs. His Never turn legs. your back on Sheev. <laughs> that sheave oh sheave what a guy <laughs> classic <laughs> can i if i get to about yay do i have a like a line of sight towards the door and poke my head around into the kitchen and just make sure it really is as silent as i think it is absolutely um oop, that was the wrong tool um so from this vantage point um, you can see more like that. You can definitely see that there are signs of stress struggle here. Um, you notice blaster fire uh, around the entryway or entryway area, and there is like a blasted stormtrooper like slumped against those crates. Okay. This place is uh, still a mess. It's just now it's messier. Right. Right. Okay. Can I get really low and try and get a visual on the kitchen? Uh, yeah. Let's have I you let's idea. have you do one more stealth. Not as good as before. Uh, that is eleven. Okay. Windows are easy. Corners corners are hard. It appears to be still empty. Okay. Uh, cutting back to Rari real quick. Um, <laughs> stormtroopers are like, you know, come to think of it, I think that Twi'lek was actually uh, a pilot. So I think you can be in the Navy, just not on the in the Army because of the helmets. Okay. I think I think that, it's something with the head tails. You know, you know what that makes sense. Like I'm, I'm sad about it, but but I get it. You know, you guys all have to have that strict uniform look, and it it works for you. Don't get me wrong, I Thank love you. it. Um, yeah, that's it's just a little disappointing for me. Obviously, dreams are a little crushed. It's fine. I'll get over it. Listen, there's a lot um, of positions in the empire that that species of all different kinds of species can can enlist in. You know what truth? Yes, that that is very true, very true. Um, yeah. So, so how did you guys get your start? Like, what's your guys's origin story? Oh well, uh, that story goes way back. My dad was actually uh, <laughs> served in the Republic in the Clone Wars, and actually, a uh, funny story, served with his dad. Okay, we're gonna transfer back. <laughs> um, <laughs> So as Ori pulls that book, it's the hidden passageway, uh, or the hidden room. Um, that hidden room uh, looks uh, mostly the same, um, in, but on the table, there's still that glowing blue crystalline cube. Um, but instead of um, the lightsaber in front of it, uh, now it is, uh, there's a data pad there. Orson, we should do a full check of this room. Yeah, I was going to keep watch, but I can come with for sure. 
Also, you should take that stormtrooper armor. Uh, you know... Uh, gosh. I just... It always smells when you wear that. It really is not a good experience. Good disguise. Uh, yeah, no, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. How many holes or, like, scorch marks are on this thing? Um, there were about two scorch marks. Um, you do know that in your experience as a soldier, uh, you know that scorch marks can be scrubbed off. It's just kind yeah. of painstaking work. And and I do have... Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, here, here's the plan. You do a full check. I will... Uh, I'll, I'll bust out the dish soap. <laughs> All right. I'm so confident in my abilities right now, you guys. Okay. So, uh... Ori is going to do a sweep of the room. Orson, uh, what were you going to do? I'm going to try and uh, make check and see if this is even remotely going to fit me. And if it does, try and uh, clean it up a little bit, make it more presentable, strip it off of him, and then uh, probably slide the body away. <laughs> okay. Orson, can I have you make um, either perception or, if you have it, knowledge technology? And then as far I have as perception. It, okay. As far as if it fits, um what's your your height weight? Uh I am six two, two fitty. Okay. And um, I rolled a twenty one on perception. I don't have knowledge technology. Perfect. Um so this would be it would fit you. Um if anyone were to put you in a lineup, you might be a little bit <laughs> taller, but if someone just saw you walking by, it, like it's not going to be goofy looking. Sure. Um you you probably would be like I mean, even then, if people notice a tall stormtrooper, are they going to be like that's yeah. not a stormtrooper or hey, that's a really tall stormtrooper. Yes. Um the the integrity of the armor still intact. It is not compromised. Okay, okay. All right. Uh, I'm, I'm going to do what I can to make it look presentable while uh, Ori is in the gathering mode. I, I just pulled your character and the armor over to the kitchen sink. Oh, yeah. And uh, Ori, uh, you're doing perception around this room. Go for mm -hmm. it. Not great. 14. Okay. Um, this looks like the way that things have stayed the same, mostly, and the way that the table is, like, the, the, the cube and the data pad are set up, this does not look like it was ransacked. This looks like it was placed, um, probably by someone who was being careful about it. Um... Beyond that, you don't you don't find any um, any extra hidden chambers, um, any traps, any tricks. Okay, I will grab the cube, stash okay. it away in one of my many pouches. All right, data pad two, or yeah, I'll take all that I can on the table. All right. Uh, so the data pad will also be, um, do you investigate it at all? Do you just throw it in? Mm, I might take a quick second to look at it. I kind of want to maybe get out of here as fast as we can. Don't know okay. if things are going uh, sorry. You just kind of quick, like, unlock the screen, basically. Um, mm -hmm. and there is pretty much one thing written on it. And it says, the Restless Rancor, Docking Bay 3. And then it has a condition code listed. Oh, fantastic. Perfect. Okay. Um, I'm going to try to quietly gather Orson and sneak out the window. Found a, a, a maid apron in the kitchen and just go into town on this armor. <laughs> <laughs> I just love the idea of Orson just being only with just like a little apron around him. At and then one him. of those little scrubby brushes. <laughs> <and be> like... <laughs> just... <laughs> Not getting... Yeah. Um, 
Let's let's make Orson scrub a little bit. Can you make a strength check? Just just for fun. Oh my gosh. Um I did not expect that I could, but actually I can. Uh just general strength. Mm-hmm. Uh seventeen. Dang. Uh so I don't you have got... a good strength. <laughs> yeah. Like you have been you just like kind of put put a bunch of elbow grease into this. You were just scrubbing very frantically and um you get like a big chunk of it off. Uh you'll still probably need like uh some time with this just to get it back to a, a polished sheen. But honestly right now it's probably passable. Unless okay. you have some sort of superior officer doing an inspection. Um, I'm sure that would never happen. <laughs> it's looking pretty good. Impossible. No way. No way that would ever happen. Okay. Should we cool. check for... We shouldn't check for credits, right? We should just, like, bounce. Uh, I, I, I probably I, should have, but I got sidetracked. <laughs> oh, that's all good. Uh, yeah, let's... Do you want to change, or should we just go? Yeah, I, I'm gonna change. I'm gonna change real quick. All right, I won't look. <laughs> okay, whatever. <laughs> I guess I'll look for credits. Check the underneath the couch cushions and sure. All the things uh, while he's changing. One more perception check for me. Definitely thought Danny was saying. On second thought, I'll look. Yeah, <laughs> I'll look actually. <laughs> now that I think about it. Well, I got a three plus okay. uh, seven, ten. Okay. Uh, you find 53 credits, uh, just Whoa. like underneath the couch cushions, behind a book. Um, this has 53 credits lying around. There's this one guy is, underneath. He was not, yeah, very cleanly. Underneath the couch. Um, back Bro, to Rari so for a minute. Um, yes. And... These stormtroopers are kind of having a moment. He's like, you're just like, you're just like my brother, man. I would be, I'd be really scared if anything happened to you. I'm really glad that we get to patrol together. It just makes me really happy. It's, it's a beautiful bond you two share. So Orson uh -huh. is now <laughs> in stormtrooper armor. That's it. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Cut away. Yeah. <laughs> Um, let me try oh, and find... what a terrible feeling. Uh, you now have the ninja icon because you are now uh, in Stormtrooper okay. armor. Um, do you have the stats for Stormtrooper armor? I absolutely don't. But you know um, what? I bet I can get them real quick if, if you give me a second and you just keep narrating. You got okay. that. <laughs> okay. Um, so, uh, you two are exiting. Um, jumping out of a window is not as hard as jumping into one, so I won't make you roll stealth to get out. Um, question for you, um, actually two questions. First, um, are you leaving the door open to his secret passage? No. Okay, so you're closing it back up? Mm-hmm. All right. That room, that gets sealed back up. Second question, as you're climbing out the window, do you close the window behind you? Yes, also. Okay. Are you just shutting it? Are you going to try and relock it? I'll just shut it. Okay. You're in that just very narrow alleyway behind or between these two houses. Okay. Is this armor, like, really good? It's pretty good. <laughs> wow. I might have to, like, make some adjustments to this and hang on to it. <laughs> I can paint it for you. That's not a terrible idea. Um, well, we should go, right? I think so. Maybe at different times. I don't know. Okay. Um, do you want to go first or do you want me to go first? You go first. Cool. I am going to come around the corner and uh, try and 
be pretty pretty stealthy uh but i do want to kind of look like i was like, like kind of shaking my leg out like maybe i ducked around the corner and just uh took a leak on the side of this guy's house because i disrespect him so much <laughs> okay uh as you're but doing... i don't really want to be seen <laughs> you don't really want to be seen no but if somebody's gonna see me it's gonna be an act uh i don't know well i'll, I'll give the choice to you deception or stealth Absolutely stealth every okay. time. <laughs> All right, go for it. All right. <laughs> oh, I have a great stealth, actually. 15. As you come around this corner, um, the the trooper uh, on the, the right here um, seems to kind of spot you, and he turns around. He's like, hey. Hey. You find anything yet? No, just uh, burnt flags and... I don't know. I always hate these kinds of assignments. You know what I mean? I'd rather just have some downtime. Hear the stories uh, about my uncle. But uh, no time for that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to head around the side. See if there's anything over there. All right. Give us a holler if you, if you, you know, catch wind of anything. Same to you. All right. Rari is panicked right now because <laughs> you see the stormtrooper coming oh. out from where Ori sure. and Orson went. Orson does not know the sign language that these two know, Correct. but he's going to be like, if he thinks the stormtrooper is not looking anymore, Just... try and make an attempt at any kind of sign language that uh, he may have seen in the past. It could be any word. It could be terrible awful things <laughs> okay um rari you see uh this stormtrooper uh just making it kind of looks like rude gestures about your head tentacles your leku <laughs> um and then uh are you walking off or are you oh, yeah. waiting yeah to... i'm not sticking around <laughs> okay no i'm i'm heading uh i'm Heading stage right. Okay. Taking a I note think that's of, stage where, that, right, of right? where he's going. I want to go. I can move myself. You can. You can. I just want to duck around the side of the building and, and wait for a second. Uh, as you're kind of, Rari, as you're kind of watching the stormtrooper make these weird hand motions and <laughs> then leave, um, the... The other stormtrooper that didn't engage just goes, oh, hey, did you have any other questions? Yes. Yeah. Um, she's going to try and like kind of blue screen a little bit because <laughs> she's tempted to stop conversation and try and see if Orson and Ori are right, but if they still need... But she doesn't know if that they're not in the house yet, so she uh, is just gonna go, um, yeah, so if there was any planet in the world you could go to and, like, live your life, which one would it B, and why? Oh, that's a good one. Um, hmm. You know, we were stationed on Corellia for a little bit. That was actually a pretty nice assignment. Um, I mean, the, you know, there, there were some tough days, but man, that nightlife. It was just, it was a blast. Probably taking my next shore leave there. Sounds, sounds great. All right. Uh, Ori, are you making a break for it? Mm-hmm. All right. You doing stealth? I, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. All right. I got a five. So a ten total. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Oh, 
rounding the corner, um, you kind of like twist your ankle just a little bit <laughs> and the noise uh, makes Hey! What uh, what were you doing back there? Did you see where your friend went off to? Um, he kind of just ditched me. Hey, Stormtrooper. Hey. Oh, oh. After... Oh. <laughs> uh, the one guy looks back at the other one, and they just kind of shake their head. He's like, they went that way. I'm going to go chase after him. You soldiers. Ugh. <laughs> Yeah, they Just straighten out my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm not even going to make you roll for that. That was a fantastic lie. <laughs> <laughs> um, they kind of just turn back to Rari, um, and uh, the other one is like, "Yeah, Corellia is all right, but like you said, the days like." Crime rate is insane there. Um, I don't know. Uh, probably, you know, the pod racing circuit on Malastare. That's, uh, that'd be fun to watch. Maybe get season tickets to that. And, <laughs> Rory, you are seeing your sister kind of, like, now awkwardly, like, <laughs> slink away. Awesome. Well, you know, thank you so much for taking time to talk with me. It was an honor, like I said, but I suppose I should be on my way, let you guys get back to your patrolling and doing the important work to keep us all safe. Thanks oh. for all you do. Anytime, citizen. Hey, long live the Empire. Right. Empire. <laughs> rules <laughs> amazing <laughs> and she's gonna go do, 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 do. <laughs> okay <laughs> fantastic okay that was so stressful you guys <laughs> <laughs> i i felt pretty good about it i felt you know good. it went really well so you guys are headed to the spaceport Yes. Uh, I would mm -hmm. like to, uh, I'm not the boss today, so it's not really up to me, but I would like to suggest that we at least try and see if we can get eyes on that lightsaber again. Okay. And if it's not, if we can't grab it, or if the place is busy or crawling, like, it is what it is. But we how might about see if we can see it at least. How about since you have the fancy new Stormtrooper outfit... We'll go that way. You go on ahead. We'll kind of keep our distance. And we'll see if if anyone's able to get it. It's probably going to be you with that garb on. Okay. So we can circle back. We can test test it out. And then if we can get it, great. If we can't, we'll just book it to the spaceship. Perfect. Cool. Go team, go. <laughs> okay so you're going back to the town square back to town square preferably the outskirts of the town square it seems very busy still um the imperial presence is definitely greatly diminished people kind of frozen in place um they're all kind of like talking amongst each other um there's like a few kind of like shouting at some of the stormtroopers but they're just sort of like keeping everyone in place and uh the square jawed uh jerk i think is his name he's no longer here uh correct. He and uh there were also some stormtroopers with him that had like the heavier like the the black shoulder pauldron. Um they are no longer here. It's just you can only spot the there's like now four four troopers here. 
Okay. I mean, what do you think, team? Do you want us to cause a distraction of any sort? I also need it to be a distraction that's not going to get us arrested. Shot or shot at. Or do you <laughs> think you'd be fine to just kind of casually patrol and... Goop See, that's what delight. I was thinking, was just, uh, just do a nice clipped march. Uh, maybe maybe embarrassingly stumble a little bit. Fall in the right place, scoop it up, uh, sheepishly march away. That was my thought. Okay. Um, while, while you do that, I will be, like, watching super closely, like, scanning the troopers to see if they make any sort of notice and be ready to, like, yell out something for a distraction, if the case may be. Okay. Um, so, Orson, can you make a deception check for me? Uh, 14. 14, okay. As you uh, approach it, um, you notice that trooper right by you kind of, like, gives you a back glance. Um, quick question for you. Um, are you carrying the Stormtrooper's rifle, or are you carrying your own? <laughs> I would be carrying my own, even if it's a bad idea. Okay. Uh, kind of looks back at you, and he goes, hey, where'd you get that? Trophy. Nice. Wish I could be out there instead of, you know, messing with these guys. Yeah. I'm going to kick the the uh, magistrate's leg a little bit as okay. I walk past. Okay. He's like, right on. And he just he turns away from you and goes back to um, kind of keeping an eye on the crowd. Okay. So, uh, are you... You said you were going to do, like, a stumble, scoop it up. Um, you're trying to hide the fact that you're taking it? Uh, not anymore, no. Okay. You're just going to scoop it up? Not that I've gotten attention now. Okay. Then, yeah, you'll just pick it up. Yep. All right, so now you've got your rifle, lightsaber. Um, Anywhere on me that I can... Just uh, the the way it's designed, it's got like a clip on it, and you could probably clip it on like the stormtrooper belt. That is, that is uh, not quite as hidden as I was hoping, but it'll work. Okay. And then, what's your exit plan? Uh, continue marching. Just straight on through. Straight on through, yes, in the direction that I was heading. I'm not turning around. And then once I can break line of sight, I'm going to start heading north because that's where the spaceport is. So, uh, Ori and Rari, you see him like kind of make small chalk with this trooper. Trooper turns around. He just scoops it up, puts it on his belt, and just keeps on walking out the other side. Yeah, I'm going to all grab Rari. By, or Rari. That's going to be interesting. I grab Ori. <laughs> By the arm, and um, I lead her, like, just be like, come on, let's go this way, and kind of try and, like, discreetly make our way through time, through the town square to where we need to go. Okay. Um, you don't really have a, a problem with that. Um, you stay on the outskirts, you stay away from the stormtrooper side. Um, most people have got their own stuff going on. No one really notices you guys pushing through. So you guys push through and uh, make it through the other side of the town square. Amazing. <laughs> guys, okay. everything's going really well right now. We can we can do no wrong. <laughs> so you're going this, to the spaceport? This dice right mm -hmm. here is on fire. <laughs> this one 
so hot right now. Needs to be in jail. Needs to be in timeout. <laughs> this one is on fire. <laughs> All right. So let's move to the spaceport. Oh, uh, on the way there, I would like to hand that off to somebody so it's not just clipped to my belt. If if either of them have a bag that that could go in. Um, mm -hmm. uh, actually, we have like a actually, backpack of some sort, right? Because we have all our equipment. So would I know the likelihood that bags are going to be checked as we're trying to like move into a spaceport that is under occupation? So, just like the real world, if you are flying commercially, um, you would have to uh, check your, your bags, your weapons. You would not be allowed to bring weapons. Um, if you are just trying to take a ship that um, you cl claim uh, that does belong to you or claims belongs to you, um, then it's private flight. You don't have to, you don't have to go through security. Neat. Gonna hand that off then. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, yeah. But there is chaos in the streets. Uh, you make your way from uh, Town Square. Um, you see, like, there's... People are, like, kind of panicking. Some people are just questioning stormtroopers. Um, stormtroopers don't seem like they're wrangling the crowd that well. However, uh, as you approach the spaceport, just outside, you do spot a small group, um, and they're kind of all, like, kind of roughing up these civilians um, outside. Um, they seem to be focused on these guys, but um, these four look like they may have tried to fight back um, and are now kind of being punished. Um, but they, like, stormtroopers have, like, they're kind of shoving them, they've got rifles raised, they're shouting at them to get down. Um, however, this commotion means that they are not looking at you. In my is... to Rari, can we help? It's... It's easier if we don't and get ourselves out of trouble first. Person, do you agree with me? You're talking in sign language that I don't know. Oh, sorry, I didn't catch that. Did you... Or or he was speaking in a in our secret language. That's what I thought I heard. Okay. Yeah, sorry. Is that right, Ori? Mm-hmm. Okay. What if I give you what I have that we need to get safe? And I try to help by myself and you guys can get to the ship and then I'll meet you. I'll be fine. No, because then you'll be in trouble. I'll be okay. Oh, you are coming with us and we're going to go onto the ship and we're going to get out of here. I regret making you the boss today. The well, single it... vote. <laughs> <laughs> well, you voted to make me the boss. So I'm the boss today so, and I say we, we go. Yeah, and you're bossy boss and I'll listen to you. Democracy okay. is beautiful. <laughs> well, I have no knowledge of this. Um, are we... Is anyone moving? I can... Yeah. Take the lead if need be. I, th I think it works better if you take the lead and we follow after you. Works for me. <clears throat> uh, yeah. Uh, not my problem. Going for the ship. Okay. Turns out we're not the good guys. <laughs> we're just the guys. <laughs> it's it's a hard choice. Tough galaxy. All right. Orson like... would never say this, and Orson would not care, but we could probably do more good somewhere else. <clears throat> 
So you're moving on? Yeah, I think so. That's the plan, mm-hmm. right, boss? Yep. Okay. Uh, so as you enter the building, uh, there are many hallways that lead to each hangar bay. Um, you kind of notice, like, the she's uh, the attendant is at this, like, kind of computer station. And she looks up as you come in, and she you can kind of see her just, like, appraising you. Like, uh, like, like their, their wheels kind of turning. Hmm. Like, uh, is there a glimmer of recognition? Um, let's do a perception check. To see. Eleven. Uh, the rumors are true. You can't see much out of that helmet. <laughs> um, she's like, you. Um, you were... Uh, she kind of like... Her eyes kind of focus on Orson. Like this stormtrooper armor. She's like... You uh, were on the Restless Rancor... Is that right? Is everything okay? Um, we're doing okay. There's a group outside that's not doing so okay, okay that could use some help. Right, shut up. We just want to get on our ship and go. Uh, she seems kind of torn. She's kind of like absorbing all of this as the stormtrooper, the sisters are kind of like whispering back and forth. Uh, and she's kind of like, okay, uh, yeah, yeah uh, hangar, hangar bay three. And she just points. How does you know what hangar bay we need to go to? Hmm? How does she know what hangar bay we need to go to? Probably because yeah, it's her job. Just, yeah, she just confirmed the ship. But we didn't say anything when we walked in. Um, in Leku, I think she might be on the magistrate's side. Okay. Uh, what? Whatever. It's. <laughs> we'll go. I'll panic about this later. Okay. So, uh, the three of you race through the hallways. Um, it's kind of a, much like an airport, it is just like a oddly long, twisted hallway. Um, until you find uh, the designation for Hangar Bay 3. Fabulous. Um, well, nowhere to go, but, uh, but in. I have no idea where we're going. You guys are the ones who got the information. Ori, are you, uh, I, remind me, who's, who's piloting today? That, I can do that. I am a pilot. I do pilot things. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> um, I guess if we haven't already, we probably want to catch uh, uh, Rar up to speed on like the uh, the uh, data pad that uh, that Ori found. <clears throat> but uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna walk in like I own the place. I think if you guys want to step back or stay back for just a second. Yeah. Um, I can't imagine that the receptionist was the only person who knew that this was, you know, Raffin's property. Okay. And the. Okay. Um,. So you uh, hit the door controls, door opens, um, 
it reveals a large hangar bay, open sky, uh, machinery, scrap. Uh, there are crates littering the area. Uh, before you is a massive freighter. Um, bit older, but still in good shape. Um, and you guys are, you're only a few steps back right now. Um, so anyone can do this if they wish. They can make a knowledge technology check to see what they know about this ship. Can help with that. I'm good at that. Rari, do you want to do it with me? Sure. Well, I'm hoping you'll do better than I did. <laughs> yeah. I have an 18. Good, because I had an 8. <laughs> oh, nice. I had a 7. <laughs> hey! Okay, so um, Orson and Rari, uh, it's a ship. It's a freighter. Yeah. It's You've seen one, yeah. you've seen them all. Um. And Ori, uh, refresh my memory. What did you get? 18. Okay. So you've, you've studied ships a little bit more. You've studied uh, just all things mechanical. Um, you identify this as a Barlaws class transport. Um, this model was hugely popular before the fall of the Republic. Um. They are a little bit light on armaments, but uh, they were very common uh, on the uh, the space lanes. Um, these ships were phased out by the time that the Clone Wars started, um, but these were essentially replaced by the new YT series freighters, um, which are, uh, for those of you at home, uh, the Millennium Falcon is a YT series, um, so they're, they're becoming more round with the the side cockpit. Um, but yes, Orson, as you walk through here, um, you do hear an unfortunately familiar voice. And it says, right on schedule. Uh, the ISB agent is uh, standing off to the side. Uh, with four stormtroopers. Um, he's he just looks incredibly smug. Um, he goes, "This That's ship fair. was registered to the late Jedi, albeit in a roundabout way. We figured someone would turn up eventually." Oh, I must have made a wrong turn. Uh, let's have you make a deception check. <laughs> That's cocked. Uh, <laughs> four. Uh, he just kind of shakes his head. And he goes, enough of this. Surrender or be crushed by the might of the Empire. What might... Like you? Like surrender or be crushed by you? They raise their Come rifles. On. He draws a Come blaster. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> All right. Oh, baby. <laughs> uh, if there's nothing else, then we should probably roll for initiative. I wasn't even shocked that his own stormtrooper walked in. Just I'm a little saying. tall for a stormtrooper. I mean... <laughs> what everybody get? I got a 21. Um, Ori has a 12. Uh, Orson has a 16. So 
as a as a soldier, I can choose whether to take a stat from the armor or from my base stats, right? If you have the armor and oh, defense you have to be talent. the armor. Yeah. Okay. I definitely don't. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Uh, so the order of battle here will be um, this officer, Rari, then Orson, then Ori, then the rest of the stormtroopers. Okay. All right. It's okay, guys. Stormtroopers miss a lot. Uh oh. <laughs> so, um, this officer uh, immediately uh, brandishes his pistol and uh, he starts shouting orders. He says, uh, You two, advance. You two, lay down covering fire uh, for the Empire. He's just shouting orders. That's all he's doing. These troopers look pretty invigorated by that, but that is his entire turn. Um, and that's going to bring up Rari. All right, motherfucker. <laughs> this might be stupid, but I'm going to come right around here. Can I use the corner kind of as like cover esque? Like uh, peek around? Yeah. To shoot? Uh, yeah, that'll be. That'll be partial cover from almost everybody. Okay. I'm going to do it, and I'm going to aim a shot right at the general. Okay. The general. The general. And that will be a 24 to hit. That is a hit. Nice. (laughs) I need my... Excuse me while I find my dice to have the proper hits. Apparently I'm missing one of them, so I'll find Okay. That'll be twelve points of damage. Okay. Blaster. <laughs> Perfect. And I would like to um, select him as the person I'm dodging from. Okay, so you will get a plus one uh, dodge bonus to your defense against him. Against attacks from him. Just plus one. It is just plus one. <laughs> okay. It's, I'm thinking of it something else. Sometimes that plus one can make all the difference in the world. You're right. <laughs> Uh, so that will be, uh, your move, uh, your attack, and your swift. Um, so that will bring up Orson. Cool. Uh, I'm just gonna, like, reach behind my back and kind of, they can't see it. I'm wearing, I'm wearing a, a visor, but I'm so excited about this. Just grinning ear to ear, uh, because I just bought a frag grenade yesterday. <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> That's right, you did. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know that I can... Oh, I can draw. Um, it's a burst radius, and I have to target a corner, and it goes out two squares, uh, so it should be, like, these Yeah, three if, I it's, can if hit. it's on that mark, then you... Yeah. Yep, exactly. Um... And I don't know how I can erase that, and I'm very sorry. Oh, wait, I think I found it. Okay, there we go. All right. Uh, cool. So, yeah, I'm going to chuck a grenade because that I've just always wanted to be able to do that to a stormtrooper. <laughs> okay. Um, I need to look at the book, which is on that shelf. So, one sec. Oh, it's fine. I got to make an area <laughs> attack. So, I'm going to make a single attack roll and compare the result to the reflex defense of every target in their burst radius. Creatures that I hit will take full damage, which is 4d6, and the others will take half. Okay. So, go ahead and make your attack roll. So 
So I rolled a 16, like, on the die. Okay. I'm going to add what to this? My base attack is four. Your base attack bonus and your dexterity modifier. And that is also four. Uh, so 24. Okay. You can go ahead and start rolling damage. And I think I said that was what? 4d6, four D four D six. Right? And uh, any attack, you add uh, half of your level 2 in damage. So you will be 4d6 plus 2. Okay. Uh, that is 16 points of damage. Mm-hmm. Okay, so uh, can you describe uh, how you're... Like, are you doing a baseball throw? Is this underhand? Oh my gosh. Uh, I think, I don't know that he's classically trained in any specific grenade throwing arc, (laughs) Uh, but I would like to get it like up high. uh, So they all have a chance to see it coming down and maybe get a little bit of the, like the sunlight, the glare. Oh yeah. uh, Right between the sun and them. So it's like darkening. Love that. And then the shrapnel. (laughs) Okay. And I'm just cackling. (laughs) Um... So you let this thing fly. Um, honestly, from what you see, uh, none of these people expected you to have a grenade. Um, they, like you can see, even one of the stormtroopers, like right as you let go of it, like his rifle like drops a little bit. Um, uh, as it takes out three oh. of the four stormtroopers. Oh, yes, Worsen. Oh, my gosh. That was That's amazing. Fun. All right. Uh, then uh, as, I'm... Oh, yeah, go ahead. Sorry. I, I'll wait. I'll wait because I am just. I need to do my move and my swift. Okay. Uh, as that brilliant fire explosion clears, um, you see the, the officer come up and he has just got like half of his face is just shredded and bloody. gosh delicious all right next i'm gonna i'm gonna move right here okay. i'm gonna point at the other stormtrooper dodge against him and just say you're next <laughs> oh. okay that's my turn or he's up yeah or we all right let's go um i'm gonna shoot at the boss with my heavy blaster pistol okay uh, you're Can out I of re- step forward a bit. Yeah, you don't have. Uh, there you go. Can I see from there? Or should I go one more? You can. You should be able to see. Let me do a line here. A measurement here. Yep. That. Yeah. You've got line of sight to him. Perfect. Okay. Mm, got a fifteen. Uh, 15 will bounce off of his armor. Shoot. He okay. does not seem to be impacted much by that. Alrighty. I want to dodge him. Okay. Matt, is that a swift action? Dodge? Yes. Uh, yes, it is. Okay. And then I want a free action just call out to Rari and be like, finish him. You got this. <laughs> Okay. okay. Um, so you were you were up one when you shot, right? Like you were right next to Rari? Yes. I want to step back a bit. So in this version of the game, uh, you do need a certain feat to move before oh, and after an attack. I knew that. I'm sorry. No, no I worries. Pushed right there. Okay. And that your turn? That's my turn. Okay. Uh, he just witnessed his brothers in arms get ob- absolutely obliterated. Uh, so this stormtrooper is just going to slide in um, to cover behind these crates. And uh, he is going to uh, take a shot at uh, the last person who fired, which was Ori. And 
And that is... I have your guys' defenses here somewhere. I think mine's 19. Yes. Um, so he actually f snaps off a shot and hits Ori um, ah. for a total of uh, 13 damage Ooh. with his rifle. All right. Um, he is going to, um, <laughs> shout, uh, less succinct orders, uh, at this last stormtrooper. He's like, get them, you idiot! And he is going to slide behind this, uh, this crate here. Uh, and then he is going to fire at... Uh, Orson. Uh, what is your reflex defense with the new armor? Yeah, um, it is now 21. Okay, his blaster shot just harmlessly bounces off the shoulder plate of your armor. Ooh. And Fancy. That is his turn, it is now Rari's turn. Okay. Um, I got mad at the stormtrooper shooting my sister, so I'm going to take aim at him. Okay. That's a uh, 21 to hit. That is a hit. Perfect. 22 points of damage. You get this trooper square in the chest, and he goes down. Wow. Good. And then I'm going to move up to behind these crates here. Perfect. Um, I still am dodging against this guy in the right. back. And that'll be my turn. All right. Uh, that brings up Orson. Fantastic. Uh, I'm just going to scoot a little bit forward. I don't think there's any way I can get a better line of sight, so I'll try and stay a little bit behind this. Uh, sling down the heavy blaster. I think I'll just take one shot. He's looking like he's missing half a face, so I don't want to <laughs> waste any ammo. Yeah. Uh, uh, that is a 19 to hit. Uh, that is going to bounce right off the cover in front of him. Okay, fair enough. Uh, and then I'm just gonna kind of like, oh my gosh, I just want to say to him, your might is just so tiny today, uh, and dodge against him. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. Little, little psychological warfare too. Um, yeah, if that yeah. is your turn. It certainly is. Then Ori is up. Ori. Oh, I don't think I can really get... I guess I could get next to my sister. Behind some cover there. Um, and I'm going to attempt a shot at Big Bad. All right. I have... I have a hit at a 17 plus 7, 24. Maybe yeah. a hit? That snakes around the cover. You got him. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Put him down. I got really good damage, you guys. <laughs> I got 6 plus 6 is 12 plus 5 is 17 plus 3. So 20 points of damage. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you slide into cover, pop up, fire off that shot, and you see, like, right as he's coming up to fire, just gets him in the shoulder, he spins, um, he's down, he just, he's kind of, like, down on an elbow, and he's like, stop, <laughs> wait, <clears throat> uh, no. 
and it's not my turn. <laughs> Uh, we can we can break turn order here. Uh, he is he is surrendering. We are out of combat. His his blaster is out of his reach. Yeah, I'm gonna keep my blaster aimed at him, but I won't shoot, and I'll kind of come out of cover and get a little closer to him. Okay. Do you want to move on? Um, you can see uh, his. His blaster, like, he dropped it, like, it got tossed out of his reach. Uh, his his hands are kind of, like, up. He's sort of propped up on his side. And, like, he, like, finally takes his eyes off the ground and he kind of meets yours, Rari. Um, there's still just blood dripping down the side of his face. He is out of breath. He's like, listen, if you kill me... The Empire will never rest until you are found. But if you spare me, I can make sure that you are left alone. Think about it. Um, what do you say, boss? <laughs> You're the boss today. It's a tough day to be boss, let me tell you. It's it been a, a wild bad day one. to get voted in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, what do you guys think? I think we got a lightsaber with his name on it. But, you know, that's just me. Ori? You should do it. Okay. Um, I'm gonna focus my blaster on him again, and I'm going to shoot. Okay. Uh, where where do you where do you put the the barrel of your blaster? Oh, this this hurts. Uh, I'm gonna aim it at his head. Just like center face. Mm-hmm. Okay. You uh, put your blaster right up against him. Fire. <laughs> He's dead. There's there's no roll required. <laughs> um. He's a bad guy. <clears throat> right. Uh, yeah. I mean. He would have he would have come for us. I didn't trust him on that either. Tell you what, though, I bet there's a lot of uh, bet there's a lot of power packs laying around here now. <laughs> Always looking for power packs. <laughs> Always. Gonna do a quick scavenge. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, why don't we have one of you uh, do a perception just to to scavenge? Um, yeah, I'll, I'll go for it, because I was the one that wanted them. Yeah, you do it. I didn't find him, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> I got a natural one. Okay. Which, I mean, it's still, it's still a nine, but... Buddy. Yeah, you're not finding anything. Uh, the helmet is just so hard to see in. So true. <laughs> helmets. Were you checking the bodies specifically? Uh, just generally looking around. Okay. I was I was hoping to snag his blaster because it would be a fun trophy, uh, mm -hmm. but mostly power packs. I heard that there were a lot of like mechanical things in the room, some cool tech. Is there anything that I could ground up and take with on the ship? Uh, sure. Why don't you make a mechanics check to see what you can can scrounge? Good. I have a 25. Awesome. Uh, we'll say uh, you pick up, um, like, you can just stuff your belt with, like, um, a bunch of, like, little electrical, like, components, um, chips, 
wires, connectors, that kind of thing. Um, depending on downtime and, and what you decide to do, maybe we can figure out some sort of crafting uh, with that stuff. Um, but yeah, you come up with uh, some pretty good, uh, pretty good uh, loot from the electronics. Um, Orson, you said you wanted his blaster pistol. Um, oh yeah, that was that was fairly obvious. That won't be included in the roll. You can just go and okay. pick up the blaster pistol. Cool. Yeah, never use it, but neat. Unless somebody needs a new blaster pistol, but I think yours are probably better. He didn't seem to even take a shot with this. Oh yeah, he did actually. He shot you, didn't he? Hmm. Um, I will say, um, <laughs> I wanted that conversation to play out first, but uh, Rari Voss. Uh, you did kill a helpless opponent, so you will receive a dark side point. Oh my gosh. I will find where I mark it on my sheet. Okay. On the first oh, page. there it is. goes all the way to 24. What's one? What's one dark it's, side? It's actually a sliding scale because it's actually on a scale of your wisdom score. Oh. Ah, oh, shit. So uh, the wiser you are, the more you can resist the call of the dark side. Guys, I gotta say, my wisdom's half of what the dark side score <laughs> thing is. So. Same. All right. Oh, no. So. Uh, scavenging complete. That. What's next? That yep. What, we gotta get on the ship, and we gotta get the heck out of Dodge. Because we okay. just killed a bunch of fools. All right. So. Your footsteps ring out in a metallic echo as you board the darkened ship. Despite its age, it looks like it's been kept up remarkably well. Um, and a very quick look around makes it seem like this ship is stocked for a journey. Um, as you step aboard, lights flicker to life and illuminate this very quiet, still vessel. He's a beauty. All right, Ori, you're the one who knows how to run these things, right? I will head for the cockpit. Um, on my way, uh, call dibs on the single bedroom. <laughs> oh. Guys. So as you guys walk the dibs. hallway to the front of the ship, uh, Ori, leading the way, just kind of looks into a room, and she, you see her look back and go, Dibs! <laughs> and as you pass it, you realize that it is the single bedroom. I and mean, the, the other one is the, the group bunks. <laughs> pilot's privilege. <laughs> Up to the cockpit here. Uh, you've got the pilot seat is on the left, co-pilot on the right. Um, Ori, uh, from your check earlier and just your general familiarity with this model, you would know that um, those are the two stations. Um, there are two um, piloting stations. There's the pilot and the co-pilot. Um, the co-pilot controls the weapons on this vessel. Um, I will... Oh, we don't have a gunner spot? Uh, the gunner spot is... Uh, the guns are controlled from the co-pilot, so there okay. is no gunner spot, no. As this vessel yeah. is right now, no. Right, yeah, no worries. Um, on your screens right now, there should be appearing a quick cheat sheet for this vessel. Um, so I will leave you guys to deciding positions and heading out. All right, I'll take the pilot spot. No way. Cool with that. 
Let's light this fire. So that's it, huh? Pilot and co-pilot? Yep. Yep, that looks like that's all it takes to pilot or to work this vehicle, so... Um, if yeah. you have any sort of um, uh, aiding actions, um, party buffs, um, you can apply that from wherever you are. Um, but regular rules still apply. They have to be like in line of sight to apply and stuff like that. Um, and those still apply, but it is, um, yeah, just those two stations. Okay. okay. Uh, I don't have anything special, but I... Let's see... Yeah, I, I... it's up to you, boss. Doesn't matter if you, if you want to shoot the guns, you go for it. I do like to shoot guns. Okay, then you be co-pilot. I'll just be behind you guys, hanging on for dear life. Fabulous. <laughs> Uh. All right. Know, Orson, we never did decide on a nickname for you. I I I already have one name. That's the It's enough for me. Why? Oh, when you're next to me in like co-pilot spot, I just want a name to call you. My name is Orson and I um <laughs> You mean like how your name is Ori or or what? Mm hmm Could be son. Could be kid. I don't know. Um, could be slick. Slick. Ooh, I like that one. I like that one. These are these are all truly awful. Can I take off my helmet? Yes. <laughs> yes, please do. Alright, Slick. Uh, ready to go off planet? I only bought one grenade and that was a mistake. <laughs> Yes, I'm ready. Let's get out of here. I am. Right. Uh, I'm ready to get off ground. Finally, uh, you start doing your. You kind of take a second to familiarize yourself with this cockpit. Um, it, you kind of get that feeling of just sort of like that. You've got the whole open sea, you know, open space ahead of you. Um, you kind of get that a little bit of a rush as you kind of get that familiar feeling back. Um, you power up the engines, uh, feeling the vibrations of the ship as it roars to life. Lifting off the landing pad, you find yourself getting used to this freighter and how it moves as you push up through the clouds and into the atmosphere. Um, as the blue sky turns to black uh, and you're leaving the planet, um, you'll need to make a used computer check to plot a course. Where are you headed? <clears throat> We're heading to Savarcos. Yeah. You want me I to guess. plot the course? I have... I actually have used computer proficiency. Then you should be 100% <laughs> plotting the course. Mm -hmm. I don't know where that is. But if you point it out, I can find the perfect route. <laughs> Maybe, depending on the role. I'm sure the computer knows where Savarcos is, so if you use it, True. you use can computer. plot us a course. <laughs> Use computer, go for it. Uh, that is a 14. Okay. You have plotted a course to Savarkos. One of many <laughs> possible <laughs> courses. It might not be the easiest, but it's a course. <laughs> we will get there. So, uh, as you uh, enter into orbit... Um, you can see an Imperial cruiser way off in the distance, um, but you do see two small fighters heading towards you. Um, a knowledge technology check could help identify them. Oh! Huh. Uh... Thirteen. It's a dirty one for me. Not a dirty one, a... A natural one, I should say. Oh, no. Oh. I also got a 13. Uh... 
Okay. I um, 14, so. Rari, you are just a little beholden by the ship. Um, you It kind of hits you that you're leaving the planet. You're not really paying attention. Um, Orson and Ori, um, the two fighters howling towards you are TIE fighters. Standard snub fighter of the Empire. They make the signature <laughs> roar as they're uh, approaching you. Um, you guys also know that the cruiser in the distance is a Tartan-class patrol cruiser. Uh, it's an older platform that is currently being phased out of the Empire. Um, that's all you got for now. Uh, however... in the dregs. <laughs> you are hailed by these ties. This is Squadron Leader Corliss of the Galactic Empire. We have an ongoing situation planet side. Please state your business or we will open fire. I'm going to hand the mic over to Rari. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Here you go, boss. I don't want to be the boss. Then hey, tomorrow's another it. day. Just another day. <laughs> um... We have orders to transport some goods that are needing to be delivered. We were given clearance from your guys on planet. Um... I will have to make you do deception instead of persuasion because you added the part about having clearance. That, that's that's valid. So, honestly, everything up to that point was the truth. So, nineteen. Okay. We got permission from someone on the ground. <laughs> um, there is a uh, like. A pause on the line that is like probably 10 ish seconds, really making you sit. And you hear it flip back on, say, We have not received proper clearance for your departure. Please return to the surface until you receive the proper authorization, or we will be forced to open fire. Well, that's a bummer. Um. So we're going to go back, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> How good are you at piloting this thing, Ori? I think I got it. Um, Orson, do you want to pew pew? Oh, are we... Uh, we're starting off with a bang. All right. Or I can just hyperdrive it. They no promises they won't follow us. I mean, they might follow us, but I don't think the big one's coming with, so. I don't think that's a bad idea. If if we're safe to jump, which I don't know if we are because I'm not a pilot. Um... Jumping with uh, these guys in front of you might be bad, but honestly, if uh, if you can jump to hyperspace without hitting them, um, let me check one more thing here. Ori, could you possibly turn us? Rari can say we're going back. We'll get clearance. Then we jump. Jump the opposite way of where we need to go? Might need a new plot. New new course plotted. You, yeah, I mean, that is also an option. You could... Uh, calculating... Uh, astrogating to... Uh, plotting a course through astrogation takes one minute. 
So you could just throw up a course for anywhere. And, and then, then re-astrogate get there on the other end. Figure it out. You could uh, try and slip past these guys to jump, uh, or you could try and take them out before jumping. Or you could turn around, and go back to the planet. I, I mean, if you're feeling confident, you can get get between them. It's all on what you think you can do. They're your wings. I'm going to... I think I'm going to try to make a turn, guys, if we're okay with that. And then I'll hyperdrive. So you're, are you going to try and plot to a... Essentially, they are in between you and where you need to go. Uh, mm -hmm. Are you going to try and slip past them to get to where you need to go, or are you going to try and rechart a course? I think we should try to rechart. What do you guys think? I'm okay with that. I mean, if if Rar can get back on and just say that she's contacting yep. someone on the ground because we know we have clearance, give us just a second. Or, I don't know. I, I can oh. do that. Mm-hmm. So I'll, I'll and, hop. and then make it look like we're ready to go home, but I I don't know I don't know I don't I'll know. I'll hop back on with these guys and just say I don't know what why you haven't received the notification that we got clearance. I'll try and reach out to our contact on planet to verify that we got this. Um. The stuff we have is just super important, so if we don't have to land and then come right back up, that would be great. Okay. Can you make another deception check for me? Again. Natural 20 yeah. for a total <laughs> of 29. Nice. Okay. Um, they're like... Okay, we'll wait. Um, and you said you were recharting, so go ahead and make another use computer check. Ooh. 22. <laughs> okay. It's better than the first course. <laughs> it is. <laughs> All right. New course plotted. I'm going to turn like I'm turning back around and then put it into hyperdrive on the new course. Okay. Uh, as you are turning, uh, you hear their line. Uh, let's go. Hey, what do you... Why is your hyperdrive still pow? And then you're gone. As they are, their con gets cut out and you are... You, your sky is now lines as you are in hyperspace. All right. You breathe a sigh of relief. You are now in deep space. Um, our heroes will level up. Hey. And that's where we will end today's session. So, hey. uh, thank you, everyone, for joining us. And we'll see you next time. Fantastic. Thanks Bye. so much. Bye. Bye it was fun.